Hi guys, I'm Boone here and this is my lab YouTube channel and in this video we are going to solve between two sets challenge So let's get right into it. So let me explain. Okay, if we come here, we have two and we have four This is the first list. The second list is 16 32 and 96 Okay, it's awesome So now we're gonna like loop through from 100 from one sorry to 100 to find out if we have the specifications required which is okay let's take one for example number one so like literally one then we're gonna say okay two divided by one is one so one is a factor of two or two basically is a factor of one then we're gonna go with okay where's the mouse then we're gonna with two okay two divided by two is one and two divided okay and there's no remaining so two is a factor of two perfect Then we're gonna go with three three divided by two is two and the remaining is one okay so with that remaining that means two is not a factor of three okay so three uh, sorry, two is not a uh, it's not a factor of three. Then we're gonna with four. Okay, four. Four divided by two gives us two, so there is no remaining. So two is a factor of four. Nice. So then, okay, we're gonna move to the second number. Okay, four. Four divided by four is one, and there is no remaining. So four is a factor of four. Perfect. This four is a factor of this four. Then after checking those number, we're gonna check if this number that we come up with is a factor of th those three numbers. So we're gonna say four divided by uh, four divided four divided by sixteen give us four. So this is okay. Let me let me let me change that color. This is right. Okay. Then four divided by thirty two give us eight. I suppose. Yeah. So this is a factor of so four is a factor of this number then 96 96 divided by 4 give us 24 I believe yeah 72 plus yeah exactly so 96 is uh, divided by 4 give us 24 so this also works so 4 uh, so 2 and 4 are factors of 4 and 4 is a factor of 16, 32, and 96. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, that basically, as far as I've got. So yeah, that's how you solve it mathematically. Now we're gonna turn it into code. So as you can see here, yeah, two and four divide, uh, divide evenly into four, eight, 12, and 16. And then 4, 8, and 16 divide all uh, evenly into 16, 32, and 96. 4, 8, and 16 are the only three numbers for which each element of A is a factor. Okay. So each element of A, A, is a factor of 4, 8, and 16. And each is a factor, and each of those numbers is a factor of all elements of B. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. So let us turn this full screen. I've tried to solve it and then I discarded the recording. Yeah, so let us reset this. We're gonna come here. First as always print A and okay. Let's 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 not do this. Okay, we know A is four and uh, two and four and B is sixteen thirty two and ninety six. So let's move to the next step. First thing we wanna we want a container or a variable to store the numbers that we found to be uh, factors that a is factors of basically so we're gonna say a factors or fa a factors yeah okay no factors of a factors of a sorry a factors We're gonna make an empty list, then we're gonna okay, let's just name it B factors. 
and then we have common numbers which is also an empty list then we also gonna need max length I'm gonna tell you why is this and this will basically be the length of a plus b mm -hmm. return okay so basically this is gonna add the two lists and get, uh, get the length of the lists the list like of both lists combined and gonna store it there I'm gonna tell you why and once we finish or we get to the end of this uh, solution so now we will we want to get the numbers that list a is factors of so we are talking about numbers between 1 and 100 so we're gonna type 101 because in Python uh, when you write 101 you basically get 100 if you wrote 100 you get 99 yeah okay so yeah for more information about Python you can check my Python course in the description below yeah so yeah let's continue <clears throat> for I in range 100 to 101 now we're gonna loop through the numbers okay the number in a and then we will check if number module i equals equals zero then a factors will add this number what basically this does is if we up python let me show you if we divide it 10 by 5 we get two okay okay we we'll use this to get floor and then if we use three then we should get three but if we use the module which basically give us the remaining of the division it would give us one so 10 divided by three floor give us three and 10 module three give us one because this is the remaining so we are checking if the number we have module the other number in the list of 100 integer if this module that give us a remaining of zero that means it's valid or it's a factor of so then we're gonna add it to the list now if we print a factors run the code okay so we have one no 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 sorry we uh, this should be i i module number because i don't want to get the factors i don't want to see if i is factor of number but i want to see if number okay i want to see if a number is factor of i let's run the code yeah that's exactly what i was looking for so yeah now there is a repeated uh, th those are repeated and that is exactly what we want i'm going to tell you why in a moment so yeah now that we've got the numbers that a items the items in a now we're gonna do the same for list b so we're gonna loop through number n b and again instead of typing if i module number we're gonna say if number module i which we did previously and we would want to make sure that we check if it equals zero then b factors want to add the i now let's print this b factors don't want this for now let us run the code okay so we have one to so those are the factors of list b and the, the a factors are basically the numbers that a is factors of so now we've got the numbers we want now what do we also want is count okay we're gonna make a temp temporary list or yeah temporary list that combines a factors come on factors 
with B factors. So if we print temp list and run the code, I think internet went down. Oh my god. There's no internet. So yeah, we're back. <clears throat> Let us run the code now. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. A factors. B factors. Okay, let's run the code. Okay, so now, as you can see here, we've got uh, repeated numbers. So, for example, we have two over here, we have two over here, we have four here, we have four here. So, what are we going to do now is basically check how many a certain number repeat got repeated so let's take for example uh, okay 10 we're gonna check okay count how many tens are in this list if there is the amount if the amount of tens matches the amount of items in both lists combined then this number means it's common because it every integer after those operations append it to the list so yeah I hope that clears so we're gonna now create uh, okay I've got common common numbers okay so now we're gonna loop for every number in the temporary list if if temporary list dot count number equals the max length you remember the one we defined over here which is basically the length of both combined now if that number got repeated as many times as the length of both lists that means it's common between all numbers so we're gonna add it to the common numbers dot append come on append number then let's see how common numbers look let's run the code now and see what we've got we should get four eight okay so we see we've got four eight sixteen basically all of those numbers but basically yeah, like they are repeated but for 8 and 16 so now we want to just do one simple thing which is switch this to be a set a set means it it has only unique elements so common numbers if i highlight it over here if i it doesn't work for some reason but basically a set is a data type that looks looks like lists but it doesn't have uh, repeated elements it basically removes unique uh, repeated elements so it has only unique uh, elements so if we run the code now we should only get 4 8 and 16 once each yeah as you can see 4 16 and 8 now the program does not ask us to give the numbers but th uh, the amount like how how many numbers so we're gonna check the length of this set and instead of printing we're gonna return it hmm. yeah this should work let's run the code it should whoosh. did we got it yes congratulations guys congrats congrats so let's submit the code <clears throat> oh yeah let's go 
waiting. I am waiting. Oh yeah, guys, we've got this. Okay. We passed. Hope you've learned how to solve it. Okay, like, literally my voice is going. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to press that like button, and uh, you can check my Python course in the description. Now, with that being said, see you in the next video, and peace out. Thank you.